Oh, righty. Let's see. I think I got this. Okay. I think I got this. Okay. I want to show you this. Oh, first of all, let me introduce myself again. I'm Scrappin' Lizzie. I am. I'm always scrapping. I'm doing something scrappy. And like right now, I started this here um, album. It's. Um, I just kind of made it up as I go along. I'm sure I'm not the original thinker of this. I'm sure that um, other people have thunk, thunk of it, thunk of it before me, and but it just came to my mind now. With for this here album, I used um, file folders, old used up file folders. I cut them. I cut them to where, well this one's eight, this this one I measured, well you can cut them to any, any size you wish, but like this one here is, um, is eight, eh, eight and a quarter by eh, eleven, eight and a quarter by eleven, that's what the ones is cut to, eleven, eight and, eight and a quarter by eleven, alright, then what I do is, well, just let me show you this. See, it opens up like this, and I'm using just like scraps or end of whatever my pad, paper pads and stuff. And I do different things, like on this one here, I just have a, a a card taped to that. Mostly, I got like most of these these pages are um, like um, old, like um, what I like the best, vintage. And so, and then here I put a nice little waterfall in here. Now, see, because see, you can add a picture on there or you can just journal on the white part. Journaling is very important. If you do put pictures, please journal your pictures. Do a good job journaling. I want to tell you, I was at my friend's house the other day and we was having lunch. My friend is 85 years old. And um, we was having lunch, and then after lunch, she wanted me to stay a while and look at some old photo albums. And of course, I'm going to look at her old. I love old photo albums, and and they were, you know, the olden days. They had them photo albums that were just all like black, and then they glue the pictures on there, and then they take white pen and they'd write like under the picture just the names. That's basically what was in her album. But this was an album that her mother had made. Now, my friends, and I'm 85 years old, and so her mother had made these when her mother was young. And so there was, like, my friend would look at a picture and she'd say, I know that is Uncle What's-His-Name and Auntie What's-Her-Name, but I wonder what that house, I think that was our house. You know, she wasn't sure. So she was trying real hard to try to remember. So like, you know, if you put a picture here, journal, journal the date, journal the people that are, all the people that are in the picture, journal where that picture was made. And, um, you know, anything you can think about, because when you're making a journal, a photo journal, especially, you are writing a history book. If your kids are anything like my kids, they save everything. They're very sentimental. I am too. I love, I love, I love history. I love my family history. I love searching my family tree. I know want to. I want to know everything about my family. But anyhow, that's what that page is there. And then, and then here, see, none of the picture, none of the paper is from a matching set. Like, um, yeah, there's not. And um, and like this one here, I just put the paper, and and I put like well that was just a, like a piece of a birthday card but and I'm, I got different pockets here and there and this here I put in one of these little I love this little thing you know you just I cut it and then you fold and I'll put something in there I don't know what it'll be maybe a quote I don't know I don't know yet and like I say it's just um, it's just in progress so there now and then here I just put like a little pocket and then I have just a card here and I just put that in there cut a little edge on there and it doesn't have to match just it doesn't have to match this is like I like things that don't match it's okay eclectic now let me show you in here wait a minute no 
I can't show you nothing in there because that's empty. Ain't nothing in there yet. I put there's pockets in there. See, that's a pocket. And here I put the little corner pocket on and a, put a card. You know what? This is actually I made this as a, just a greeting card. But you know I've made so many greeting cards that I can just use them in my albums. This is fun right here. I like this. This is a I don't know what you call it, but see. And you open it up and then here you open it up again and then here it's got this doohickey here that you just open that up again and um but you can put photos in there you can put memorabilia of any sort in there there's no rules for this now here i might put a magnet there i might put a magnet there and i might put a quote on here so i might put this piece of paper here, it was the cover of this haberdashery thing. I just, even the cover I thought was pretty. Okay, so I put that on there. And then, there you go. You're at the back cover, but you're not really. You're not really. It was a trick. This is front cover again, but it's different. So here, you know what this paper is? That's wallpaper out of a wallpaper sample book. And then, but then I glued. Well, you can't really glue too much to wallpaper, so I think... Maybe I did glue that with some real good glue, but all glue doesn't glue to wallpaper. Sometimes you have to use that sticky tape, that Su Quang, this stuff. It's Su Quang on there, but it's, I don't know what it is. And then, and then here, I, um, I just put a few little things in the pocket, right on the front, right on the front. And, um, there we go. And, and then here again, I put... I'll put the envelope and the card in there. A little card I made. That's a little card I made there. See, just just a little note. As I make a lot of little cards like that, you know. So here, you know, this could be a birthday card. And my little tag in there says just a little note. You can write to say happy birthday and sign your name and best wishes. Put a hundred dollar bill in there or something. And, you know, there you go. And then here is another one of those flip you out things where you can add all those pictures and memories and whatnot, you know. Now when you have a dark piece of paper like this, you could write on using white ink. And um, that's always real pretty. And um, then of course the lighter paper you can use dark ink. But you can write on it or add pictures or whatever. Yeah, I'll probably put a magnet here. And this was just a little scrap piece of paper that was on my desk. And so I grunged up the end. I use that grungy thing. You know, this thing, this doohickey. It, it's, it's a grungy. I don't know what it's called, but it makes grungy ends. And then I ink and make it look old. But see, all that is is just a little something. And then I put those paper clips in. Them. It's not paper clips. In. It's called something else, but they're not paper clips. But they're breads, 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 bread pit. Okay, and then I just put a little, like, cra I call this a crazy eight. Crazy eight closure. I don't know what it really is. Okay, now there's another pocket there. And here I put another card. See, I'm going backwards through the book again, but I'm getting all new, new pages. Uh, another card. And this one here, I just put a little, like, a belly band holder in her. And then um, another little card. Pretty. It's got like velvet on there. Yeah, and so I just stick that card in there. That looks kind of pretty. And then, now this is this is what's amazing here. This here is a journal. See that? It's a journal. And I, I'm going to put one of them in each one of my pockets. And, um, and, and this is fun. I like this little thing on the front because what I'll do with white ink, I'll probably maybe write a quote. Man, them fingernails is terrible. There's ink all over them, and it takes about four days for it to wear off. But, um, I should go get my nails done. But anyway, this, you know, it, that I love that black paper because you can write on it with white ink, and I just think that looks pretty doggone good. And so, but now here I just stitched, you know, it's, this is like a, this is like a one signature book. And 
this is wallpaper. See, I use wallpaper on this. I use wallpaper samples for a lot of things because it's pretty. You can get some really pretty wallpaper samples. And so here, I that I cover. This is all scraps of paper. Now, see, this here is too wide because it's like, what was it, 15 inches, 12, 13, 14, 15, I don't know. It was more than 12, though. So my pages, what I did was I took a 12-inch piece of paper and I cut it into the 8-inch length, I think, something like that, because, yeah, 9-inch, cut 9-inch length this way, width, whatever. And then, and then that's what I cut all of these pages in, is that same thing. But then when I put them in, I alternated them so I'd have a long page and a short page and 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 the end. And see here I just had scraps. I just glued them because on the back of the wallpaper it's got all that advertising as to what kind of wallpaper it is and whatever and how much it is or whatever. I don't know what it had in it but I covered it. But now this paper, this um, this is some paper that I, when I first started scrapbooking a hundred years ago, I bought lots of the big paper pads that's got like 180 sheets in there and there's a lot that I haven't used not that it's ugly because it's not ugly it's really pretty but um I haven't used it so I just parked that stuff right in there and because it's got the white back there's you right on there and then you can leave these pages just like this like this one's probably kind of too busy to write on you could write on this one that's well, it's not so bad and yeah, and then this one might be too easy. But you can still add a photo in there, a news, your newspaper clippings. A lot of times newspaper clippings are really, 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 really important to keep you know, for history, you know. And so, okay, and then that just slides right in there. Now, on this, well, now, never mind. This, this was kind of funny because see like this, these here little, things here they come on a pa they're stickers but I yeah they're stickers and they come off of this here thing and then I went to go throw this in the garbage the outside of that sticker but it makes one big sticker so I stuck it on a piece of black paper and after I put it on that piece of black paper then I just wrote words on there with my white pen I told you I like to do that and I made a pocket out of that and right now I just got an envelope sticking there stuck in there stick in there whatever I don't know it's in there and so I put that in there and who knows what I'll put in there this was a piece of paper that I took a piece of like designer paper but then I started painting stenciling whatever on it I did that like a long time ago and then I never used it for anything so I stuck it in here I love this paper I think it's so pretty and again now this card I glued the envelope right to the page but then the card just fits right in there so you can put it just fits right in there and I got a tag inside the card that's how I make my cards lately I really like them and um, there's a die cut on there I'll put that on a paper but um yeah and so but it sticks right in there you could put a picture on there or you could write some more journaling on there just that journaling is amazing and writing in your own handwriting. A lot of people, they don't feel like they want to do their own handwriting because they say, my handwriting is ugly. But don't ever think that. No matter what your handwriting is, it's your handwriting. So just use your handwriting because when your great, 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 great grandchildren read it, they'll say, wow, that was my great, 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 great grandma wrote that. And they'll be happy about that. And so then here we are back to the front cover and so then we go again and so this particular one I have two two pockets two pockets on that side and two pockets on this side now you might say well that looks pretty raggedy well it does look kind of raggedy because I made it that way using this raggedy thing I make this thing raggedy because I want it to look raggedy and aged see oh and then I used like some of this gold stuff I love this little thing this is treasure gold classic gold I've had this for a hundred years and um, I said I'm a lot still in there but I like that just take a little bit out on your finger and just rub it 
It's, I guess it's like that rub and buff stuff. I don't know. But I like this the best. It just makes a nice gold edge. And I have gold all over my finger. I wiped off on that paper. Okay, now I want to show you too. Now, since I got your attention, and you're still there, since you're still watching. So, oh, and let me tell you, one thing I love about this album, this is the main thing I love. I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you. But the, the bigger, the more stuff you put in it. Normally, if you've got an album that's hinged over here, then as you start putting things in, it pokes this side up. The hinge just stays there. Here, your hinge is on both sides. Both sides, the hinge is there. Isn't that amazing? And um, so since the hinge is on both sides, the more you put in it, it just stays, still stays flat. You could just keep putting stuff in there and it'll still be flat as it sets on your table, on your coffee table or whatever you put it. It's going to be still flat because, see, this was only very thin when I started, but I'm adding things to it so it's getting thick and it's staying flat. That's what I really like about this. Okay, now I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this. Now, I have cut. These are my file folders. And they're marked up and stuff, but that's okay. It's going to be covered. And um, But it's a nice size. Now, I cut these ones all the same size. They're all the same size. You can, you can do which whatever you like to do. Now, what we do is what I do first. I'm going to lay one down. I'm going to lay one down, and this is how I put these together. Now this one will open this way, so my next, my next file folder, I'm going to go over here. Put this folded edge right here, that folded edge. Don't go by that open edge. <coughs> Excuse me, I a little bit of cold. Now, I'm going to glue right down here, right down here, along where that folded edge is. That's what, well, well, it's not the folded edge here, it's the folded edge on the second one. <coughs> and then, I'm going to put that right on top of there. Now, oh, see there? Now I've got that mess on there. Okay, now, the next one is going to go on this side like this folded edge this is the folded edge here so now this time I'm going to put the glue this way see see you're starting at the bottom and building up okay now see I'm doing this fast because I'm on national television here there we go normally I probably wouldn't go that fast and I'd probably do it better job. Okay, so now it opens there. I'm going to take this folded edge. That's going to go next. So I'm going to go and glue it this way. Just like this. Just like this. Okay, and then I'm put that on the top there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. One thing about, you can use that, you know, this tape here. What the heck you call that? I don't remember. It says Su Quang on there. I just called Su Quang. Okay, then. Oh, here you go. You can use that, but I'm not good at... I get wiggly sometimes. I just had a birthday a couple days ago, turning myself into 67 years old. And so I'm, I get kind of a little wiggly now. Wait a minute. Okay. Now I want this side is going to go... See how I get myself confused? Yeah. Yeah, now I'm going to put this on like this. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. And it fits. Okay, that's... Well, I've got two more. Now again, this will go on the opposite side, right here. And I always lay it over there because then I know where the glue's going to go. So I know it's got to go down the side and down the same side where the next page is going to glue onto and out the other side, like that. That nice straight line. Mm -hmm. And then I have one more. And you can put as many as you want or as few as you want, whatever. So now this is going to go on this side. 
So I'm going to go gluing down here.